without sounding terribly funny to be, to sound, to answer that question. But I know I will be remembered because of this kind of stuff, because of um, the other interviews, because Sid Caesar, I think, has all our scripts of your show of shows, the, uh, the Library of Congress, because Museum of Television has 124 sketches and uh, or, or shows in which in which my name occurs. I will be remembered, and that's good enough. I speak to, with that about that subject to my son Michael, and I said if I never wrote another line, I've done my share, and I'm pretty proud of what happened up to now. But how would you like to be remembered? For what? Oh, for what? What would you like them to say about you in your obituary? I'll never forget them. On the 120th birthday of his life. <laughs> I'd like to be 120 years is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I am kidding, but I mean, that's I pretty much said of what I think of myself, what I think other people think of me. What do you consider your biggest accomplishment? Okay, I don't know if I told you that. There was a... There was a, an evening, the opening of Carl Reiner's Daughter's Play, based on um, um, Pirandello's uh, uh, six characters in search of an actor. It, it wasn't a still, it was a direct idea. Let's do that science. It's quite good. Mm -hmm. And there, present, was, of course, Carl, Mel Brooks, Dick Van Dyke, Steve Allen, and a few other people. And I found myself saying, it's an answer to your question, even though I forgot the question. The, I, I said to Dick Van Dyke, all of us had our moment of immortality. And he totally agreed with me. And I said it to Carl, and he said it and gave examples and so on, and uh, all the other people in uh, Mel Brooks. And I think the moment of immortality, which answers your question, what was the favorite, was still your show of shows. They all say they all... Everything to that show, mm -hmm. up to now. Any? Do you have any uh, deep regrets? Uh, I wish I were a little taller. No, actually, no, I have no. Tall enough. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm quite tall. I have really no regrets. I no one you wish you'd punched in the nose when you had the opportunity, or? Well, uh, I never was in around in Hitler's time. No, I don't. I don't. No, I. Not, that, that's a, that's a good question. If I have any regrets or sorry that I, inspired, uh, because of my childhood in the Ukraine, difficult one, I carried fears and problems a bit too long. I stayed, stayed too long on that. So in other words, why, why all that angst? Why all that stupid angst after a while? That's, that's the only thing that I look back on. Of course, the otherwise, my two sons are doing extremely well. My wife became a lawyer, and, and uh, when she retired, she was a vice president in, in the legal department of Paramount. The grandchildren live around here, doing very well. My two sons are around quite often, visit us. We travel a lot, quite a bit, so that I, you had no I, way of knowing back then that everything was going to turn out as well as it did. Exactly. That, that's, that's true. 